You look at Elijah Barrett Tucker and Daniel Jeremiah called him the safest pick in the draft, called him a future all pro. That's a move you make because you're serious about actually giving your young quarterback a chance. Everything they didn't do for Sam Darnold, they're doing now for Zach Wilson. And it wasn't just a Tucker pick. And that's a great move. I know they spare me that, oh, they overpaid. They gave up two third round picks. Nobody cares what you gave up if the player ends up being great for you. And that's what Tucker's going to be for the Jets. All right, nobody cares that the Jets traded a second-round pick and a fourth-round pick in 2007 to move up to draft Darrell Revis. You hit on the sure thing, you hit on the player, that's all that matters. And that's what the Jets have done, giving Zach Wilson a chance for success. And another sign that things are finally different with this organization that's been a train wreck for a decade is that they stuck to their conviction and took a great player at pick 34. It would have been really easy for Joe Douglas at the beginning of the second round to trade out and recoup some picks. Instead, he doubles down on offense with a third straight pick and takes Elijah Moore out of Ole Miss. Elijah Moore was my favorite pick the Jets made this weekend because it just showed you they're serious about helping Zach Wilson. It showed you that they're serious about actually giving this kid a chance to be successful. If Zach Wilson doesn't work out for the Jets, then you want it to be because he just wasn't good enough. Not the Sam Darnold thing where you still don't know what the guy is after three years. You got to find out what this kid is. Give him every chance to be successful. And getting Elijah Moore, who Mel Kuyper had as a top 16 player, they're at pick 34. I mean, that's a no-brainer. That's a move you make when you're serious about protecting your young quarterback. And spare me with the, oh, but Jake, the defense, they got to improve the defense in the draft. They won two games this past year. Not going to fix every hole with one draft. And the Jets at the 32nd ranked offense two years in a row and the same media that might be criticizing them because they went offense with their first four picks. They're the same people that complained about the lack of weapons protection for Sam Darnold. So the Jets did exactly what they should do. They go out there, address offense, try and score points, which is a novel concept the Jets haven't learned over the last 10 years that you need to actually score points to win games in the NFL. I know it's just it's just like rocket science to determine that. 